Good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. The mountains quake before him, the hills melt, and the earth heaves at his presence. Yes, the world and all who dwell in it. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can endure the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Our God, your God, is great and greatly to be praised. The wrath of God is here revealed from heaven against his enemies. His favor and mercy are here assured to his faithful, loyal subjects and his almighty power in both making his, his wrath very terrible and his favor very desirable. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under your feet. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. And the earth is laid waste before him, the world with all those who dwell therein. Greater, bigger, and more powerful is your God that is within you than he or anyone else that is in the world. He is stronger than your strongest enemy. He is bigger than your biggest mountain. He is more powerful than any force that comes up against you. Our God is mighty, worthy of all praise. Sing unto him a glad triumphant song. He is the Lord supreme in earth and heaven. To him all strength and majesty belong. Declare his glory among the nations. Through all creation his triumph sing. Till all earth's people bow in adoration. And Jesus Christ be everlasting king. The splendor of a king clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light and darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice. Age to age he stands and time is in his hands. Beginning and the end, the Godhead, three in one, Father, Spirit, and Son. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.